Сейчас вы будете выполнять задание по аудированию. Каждый текст прозвучит два раза. После первого и второго прослушиваний у вас будет время для выполнения и проверки заданий. Все паузы включены в аудиозапись. Остановка и повторное воспроизведение аудиозаписи не предусмотрены. Задание 1. Вы два раза услышите четыре коротких диалога, обозначенных буквами A, B, C, D. Установите соответствие между диалогами и местами, где они происходят. Каждому диалогу подберите соответствующее место действия, обозначенное цифрами. Используйте каждое место действия из списка 1.5 только один раз. В задании есть одно лишнее место действия. У вас есть 20 секунд, чтобы ознакомиться с заданием. Подпишись, плиз. Напиши комментарий и запишись на занятие. Все ссылки в описании. Успей записаться на занятие по низкой цене. Now we are ready to start. Dialogue a. Hi, how can I help you? Well, I'm looking for the foreign language section. It's right upstairs. Thanks. And what exactly are you looking for? I need some easy reading in German, something I could read without a dictionary. There are books for all levels there. You can find something for your taste. Choose the books you like and come back here to pay. The pay desk is here. Thanks. Dialogue B. Come in. Don't stand in the doorway. You're a new student here, aren't you? Yes, it's my first week in the college. Then I think you'll be using this place a lot. Let me show you around. Here's the electronic catalogue, and the books are there. You know how to search for books, don't you? Yes, I do. There's the place where you can study your books comfortably. And here you can photocopy some materials if needed. But remember that the number of copies allowed is limited. Yes, I know about that. And for how many days can I borrow books and magazines? Dialogue C Hey, Jackie. How are you doing today? OK, but awfully tired. I've just had my language class and we wrote an essay. It was so exhausting. I feel as if I've been running a marathon. You're lucky. I mean, that it's all over for you. Our group is going to write a similar essay next Monday. Are you heading home now? No, unfortunately not. We still have one more class. And I'm going to the canteen. How about joining me? Good idea. I'm as hungry as a wolf, and there's still enough time before the bell. Dialogue D Hi, I'm Tom. I'm Betty. This is a pretty good exhibition, isn't it? Yes, I like it. Tolkien is my favourite author, but I didn't know he was such a fine painter. Yeah, it was a bit of a surprise for me too. Have you already been to the other halls? Not yet. What's there? Everything about Rudyard Kipling. He was a pretty good artist too, by the way, and his drawings are exhibited there. Oh, I never heard he could draw. Let's go and see. You have 20 seconds to complete the task. Подпишись, please. Напиши комментарий и запишись на занятие. Все ссылки в описании. Успей записаться на занятие по низкой цене.
Now you will listen to the dialogues again. Dialogue A. Hi, how can I help you? Well, I'm looking for the foreign language section. It's right upstairs. Thanks. And what exactly are you looking for? I need some easy reading in German, something I could read without a dictionary. There are books for all levels there. You can find something for your taste. Choose the books you like and come back here to pay. The pay desk is here. Thanks. Dialogue B. Come in. Don't stand in the doorway. You're a new student here, aren't you? Yes, it's my first week in the college. Then I think you'll be using this place a lot. Let me show you around. Here's the electronic catalogue, and the books are there. You know how to search for books, don't you? Yes, I do. There's the place where you can study your books comfortably. And here you can photocopy some materials if needed. But remember that the number of copies allowed is limited. Yes, I know about that. And for how many days can I borrow books and magazines? Dialogue C. Hey, Jackie. How are you doing today? Okay, but awfully tired. I've just had my language class and we wrote an essay. It was so exhausting. I feel as if I've been running a marathon. You're lucky. I mean that it's all over for you. Our group is going to write a similar essay next Monday. Are you heading home now? No, unfortunately not. We still have one more class. And I'm going to the canteen. How about joining me? Good idea. I'm as hungry as a wolf, and there's still enough time before the bell. Dialogue D. Hi, I'm Tom. I'm Betty. This is a pretty good exhibition, isn't it? Yes, I like it. Tolkien is my favourite author, but I didn't know he was such a fine painter. Yeah, it was a bit of a surprise for me too. Have you already been to the other halls? Not yet. What's there? Everything about Rudyard Kipling. He was a pretty good artist too, by the way, and his drawings are exhibited there. Oh, I never heard he could draw. Let's go and see. This is the end of the task. You now have twenty seconds to check your answers. Подпишись, please. Напиши комментарий и запишись на занятие. Все ссылки в описании. Успей записаться на занятие по низкой цене. Задание два. Вы два раза услышите пять высказываний, обозначенных буквами A, B, C, D, E. Установите соответствие между высказываниями и утверждениями из списка. Каждому высказыванию подберите соответствующее утверждение, обозначенное цифрами. Используйте каждое утверждение из списка 1-6 только один раз. В задании есть одно лишнее утверждение. У вас есть 30 секунд, чтобы ознакомиться с заданием. Now we are ready to start. 
Speaker A. It's always been a controversial subject, and people will never agree which of them is more important. Science or art? Art or science? To me, art is the most important. It helps people express their feelings and their intuition. Music, for instance. Good music makes you a better person. Ready to help and show empathy with other people. Paintings and poems work the same. I'm not saying science is unimportant. Certainly not. But it's art that makes us human. Speaker B. I've got many interests in life, and I've tried different things like painting, playing the guitar, collecting minerals. Now I'm deeply interested in growing crystals. Crystals can be grown from almost any salt. I add different substances to a chemical solution to make crystals of different colours. It's really fascinating. It's where science and art meet, isn't it? Speaker C. I'm not good at sciences, and my school teachers have always advised me to choose a career in the arts. But yesterday, I listened to a young astrophysicist who was giving a talk. About the beginning of the universe, it was fantastic. I can't say that I understood everything. Far from it. But he was very engaging, and explained complicated theories in a very simple and elegant way. He managed to make all the audience, even me, feel very involved. I'd really like to listen to something else on the topic. Speaker D. I've moved into a new flat recently, and still have very little furniture. My flat looked bare, and a friend of mine decided to improve the situation. She's an artist, and she's given me a huge painting she made herself. I'm not an art expert, but I think it's awful. And it doesn't go with the style my flat's going to be furnished in. I don't know what to do with the picture. I don't want to have it on my wall, and I can't throw it away. It'll upset my friend. Speaker E. One of my lectures was cancelled yesterday, and I had an unexpected two-hour break. Right in the middle of the day, I went out to have a stroll, and I was walking along the park lane when I saw pictures on display right there in the car park. There were photographs of the city taken by different artists at different times. Some of them were in colour, some black and white. The whole thing was arranged by the local art society, and it was so nice. That I nearly missed my next lecture. You have thirty seconds to complete the task. Now you will listen to the texts again. Speaker A. It's always been a controversial subject, and people will never agree which of them is more important: science or art, art or science. To me, art is the most important. It helps people express their feelings and their intuition. Music, for instance, 
Good music makes you a better person. Ready to help and show empathy with other people. Paintings and poems work the same. I'm not saying science is unimportant. Certainly not. But it's art that makes us human. Speaker B I've got many interests in life and I've tried different things like painting, playing the guitar, collecting minerals. Now I'm deeply interested in growing crystals. Crystals can be grown from almost any salt. I add different substances to a chemical solution to make crystals of different colours. It's really fascinating. It's where science and art meet, isn't it? Speaker C I'm not good at sciences, and my school teachers have always advised me to choose a career in the arts. But yesterday, I listened to a young astrophysicist who was giving a talk about the beginning of the universe. It was fantastic. I can't say that I understood everything. Far from it. But he was very engaging and explained complicated theories in a very simple and elegant way. He managed to make all the audience, even me, feel very involved. I'd really like to listen to something else on the topic. Speaker D I've moved into a new flat recently and still have very little furniture. My flat looked bare and a friend of mine decided to improve the situation. She's an artist and she's given me a huge painting she made herself. I'm not an art expert, but I think it's awful. And it doesn't go with the style my flat's going to be furnished in. I don't know what to do with the picture. I don't want to have it on my wall, and I can't throw it away. It'll upset my friend. Speaker E One of my lectures was cancelled yesterday, and I had an unexpected two-hour break right in the middle of the day. I went out to have a stroll, and I was walking along the park lane when I saw pictures on display right there in the car park. There were photographs of the city taken by different artists at different times. Some of them were in colour, some black and white. The whole thing was arranged by the local art society, and it was so nice that I nearly missed my next lecture. This is the end of the task. You now have 20 seconds to check your answers. Задание 3.8 вы услышите разговор двух подростков. В заданиях 3.8 в поле ответа запишите одну цифру, которая соответствует номеру правильного ответа. Вы услышите запись дважды. У вас есть 60 секунд, чтобы ознакомиться с заданиями. Подпишись, плиз. Напиши комментарий и запишись на занятия. Все ссылки в описании. Успей записаться на занятия по низкой цене.
Now we are ready to start. Look, Tom, we've been waiting for your sister for 40 minutes already. Yeah, she's never been punctual, but this beats everything. I'm starting to feel hungry and cold. It's not the right time of year to be out all day long. Right. Ten minutes more and we are leaving. You're wearing a very nice coat, by the way. Yeah, my mum bought it for me. She says I would wear my old jeans and coat till the end of the world if she didn't care about my outfit. Is that true? Most girls love shopping. Right, but I hate wasting time in the shops almost as much as I hate gardening. At first, Mum tried to get me involved in all the gardening projects in our neighbourhood, like... Just fancy! She wanted me to participate in our local contest for the best flower bed. Did she? Yes, but she understood it was a hopeless idea. And after I made a special cake to celebrate her flower bed, she put up with the fact that I don't share her hobby. She even said that the kitchen is also a good place to implement creative ideas. Yeah, I do still remember your art sandwiches you once treated us with. It was some kind of a picnic, wasn't it? And your sandwiches were a sensation, both tasty and beautiful. Oh, kind of you to mention that. You've got a chance to try them again, by the way. And not only them. I'm going to cook some new dishes next weekend. For what occasion? Somebody's birthday? Yes, mine. Oh, I didn't know about it. Can I assume that I'm invited? Yes, Sunday afternoon at my house. There will be some friends and some relatives will come too. Fine. Would you like me to help you with entertaining your guests? I can bring some good music and some sports items like badminton rackets, balls and whatever. Just in case your guests cannot resist your culinary talent and will feel like burning some calories. Thanks. I'll think about it. It could be a good idea to arrange some activities. The only sport I'm good at is aerobics. At least, my coach thinks so. But aerobics doesn't fit the occasion. We need something more exciting, like bowling or... I don't know what. My aerobics coach is going to be with us too, by the way. I'll introduce you to her. What for? I'm not keen on aerobics. It's not that. She's a fluent speaker of Japanese. You once told me about your crazy idea to learn Japanese and to become an interpreter, didn't you? Uh, my plans have changed several times since then, and they weren't serious anyway. So, what interests you now? The career of a lawyer. Very boring. Studying law means reading very long texts. I would never agree to do it. Don't jump to conclusions. I'll explain to you my reasons and you'll understand. Not now. Some other time, probably. Your sister is coming at last. Right, it's her. Almost 45 minutes late. But anyway, Maggie, I do want to explain to you my reasons. You have 30 seconds to complete the task. Now you'll hear the text again. Look, Tom, we've been waiting for your sister for 40 minutes already. Yeah, she's never been punctual, but this beats everything. I'm starting to feel hungry and cold. It's not the right time of year to be out all day long. Right. 
ten minutes more and we are leaving. You're wearing a very nice coat, by the way. Yeah, my mum bought it for me. She says I would wear my old jeans and coat till the end of the world if she didn't care about my outfit. Is that true? Most girls love shopping. Right, but I hate wasting time in the shops almost as much as I hate gardening. At first, Mum tried to get me involved in all the gardening projects in our neighbourhood, like. Just fancy, she wanted me to participate in our local contest for the best flower bed. Did she? Yes, but she understood it was a hopeless idea. And after I made a special cake to celebrate her flower bed, she put up with the fact that I don't share her hobby. She even said that the kitchen is also a good place to implement creative ideas. Yeah, I do still remember your art sandwiches you once treated us with. It was some kind of a picnic, wasn't it? And your sandwiches were a sensation, both tasty and beautiful. Oh. Kind of you to mention that. You've got a chance to try them again, by the way, and not only them. I'm going to cook some new dishes next weekend. For what occasion? Somebody's birthday. Yes, mine. Oh, I didn't know about it. Can I assume that I'm invited? Yes, Sunday afternoon at my house. There will be some friends and some relatives will come too. Fine. Would you like me to help you with entertaining your guests? I can bring some good music and some sports items like badminton rackets, balls, and whatever. Just in case your guests cannot resist your culinary talent and will feel like burning some calories. Thanks. I'll think about it. It could be a good idea to arrange some activities. The only sport I'm good at is aerobics. At least my coach thinks so, but aerobics doesn't fit the occasion. We need something more exciting, like bowling or I don't know what. My aerobics coach is going to be with us too, by the way. I'll introduce you to her. What for? I'm not keen on aerobics. It's not that. She's a fluent speaker of Japanese. You once told me about your crazy idea to learn Japanese, and to become an interpreter, didn't you? Oh,、uh, my plans have changed several times since then, and they weren't serious anyway. So, what interests you now? The career of a lawyer. Very boring. Studying law means reading very long texts. I would never agree to do it. Don't jump to conclusions. I'll explain to you my reasons, and you'll understand. Not now. Some other time, probably. Your sister is coming at last. Right. It's her. Almost forty-five minutes late. But anyway, Maggie, I do want to explain to you my reasons. This is the end of the task. You now have thirty seconds to check your answers. This is the end of the listening test. Время, отведенное на выполнение заданий по аудированию, истекло.